Thailand, Tripura, and Sikkim are eight states located in the northeast of the country. The landscape, the range of communities, and geographical and ecological diversity make these states quite different from other parts of the country. They are known as eight siblings and referred to as eight sisters or seven sisters and one brother. The states have distinct cultures and multiple ethnic groups and are a fine example of unity and diversity. Among all the specialties of the Northeast, one of the eye-catching highlights is its colorful traditional dresses adorned by its people. Every state has attires that evoke thousands of years of history and tradition, thereby complementing the beauty of its unique culture. Designs, accessories, colors, and patterns all fuse into magnificent crafts that exude the soul of Northeastern states. So we bring to you a list of such costumes that look simply phenomenal and beautiful. landmark of the end of the agricultural year for June cultivating garus. It is performed in the month of Mejapang, which is the period as from the second week of October to the second week of November. According to the age-old garu belief, Minima Rokkame and Misi Saljo Jobe Parang Rupa are the divinities who do most for continued survival of humankind. So in a word, Wangala is a community thanksgiving ceremony of the Garus. It is a time of happy send-off and ceremonial fit. Don't 
Joma is a type of an insect that thrives in colonies. They are highly organized when they are on the march by always following the leader. This dance step represents the Garo community that thrives through interdependency and interrelatedness. The Garos, who call themselves archers, are the second largest tribe in Meghalaya. The Garo female costumes consist of ikum, which is a red round skirt, along with a blouse. The Garo male can also be, be seen wearing the same. Male can be seen wearing the pantra, which is a piece of cloth that crisscrosses the chest. The tradition traditional belt called Senki can be seen wore by the women. The Garos are fond of ornaments and adorn themselves with Nariki, Naderong, Natapsi, Rukpo or Rukuto, Jaksan or Sangbong. Both male and female also uses a headband or turban called Kota at the Kasi tribe. Women of Kasi tribe wear a jensen along with a blouse. They also wear a jenpin, which is a single piece wrapped around skirt. A female can also be seen wearing flowers on the head known as Tiao Yusbon. The Kasi male wears a sleeveless coat, which is known as Jimpong. They are also paired with red colored dhoti called Jenbo. Accessories include a necklace made of red coral and beads covered in foil, golden earrings called Pieng Pana. Among the traditional clothes they wear, the Tampu waistcoat is seen wearing by the men, and they have a shawl, though they, they are not wearing it today. Uh, Haura shawl is especially for men and Changkong shawl is exclusively for women and the traditional tools and ornaments they wear are Varo Kasi and Mayo Kasi. A woman can be seen uh, wearing a mekala and a shawl and the necklaces. Name that means land of diamonds. The Maitis and Nagas are the two indigenous communities known to have lived in Manipur. Among many tribes of Manipur, today we will present you a Tanku, Tanku tribe of Manipur. The Tanku Naga tribe lives mostly in the Ukru district of Manipur. Tanku people are the first community in Manipur to, to become Christian. And do you know the Tanku tribe is well known for the skill in making knives? Yes, they are. And this is one of the theory of nomenclature of the name Tanku. Tang meaning sword or knife. Cool mini village. And among the traditional clothes they wear, the mic. <laughs> a man is carrying a traditional tanku shawl, and the woman is wearing a mekela, which is what? So sorry, this is Angami tribe. Angami in Manipur. Among many tribes of Manipur, today we will present you a Tanku, Tanku tribe of Manipur. The Tanku Naga tribe lives mostly in the Ukru district of Manipur. Tanku people are the first community in Manipur to, to become Christian. And do you know the Tanku tribe is well known for the skill in making knives? Yes, they are. And this is one of the theory of nomenclature of the name Tanku. Tang meaning sword or knife. Cool meaning village. And among the traditional clothes they wear, the make. A man is carrying a traditional.
Kung Fu show. And the women is wearing a Mikhaela, which is what? Generosity and the unique food habits which contribute to the rich cultural diversity of Nagaland. Their tradition wrapped around dress or Mikhaela called Sugumini are made of traditional fabrics, natural seashells, ivory, and semi-precious stones. Sugumini means two pieces of cloth stitched together. It is usually given to a daughter when she reaches teenage. Accessories like their necklaces, earrings, and headgears make them look more vibrant. A man can be seen wearing a traditional jacket and carrying a traditional uh, spear. Ow. The Ao Nagas are native to Mokochung district of Nagaland. They were the first Nagas to embrace Christianity. The Ao lady wears traditional red around Mikhaela along with beautiful ornaments like earrings and necklaces. And the Ao men wears traditional jackets. They can be seen wearing the head ears. And they also love very the beautiful traditional ornaments. One of the traditional attires worn by Mizoram women is the traditional dress called Puan. Puan Chi is a dress worn by women during festivals. The lady is wearing a kuanche, which is a wrap around skirt, and a traditional handmade blouse known as kawarechi, which is generally paired with kuanche. The dress is incomplete without a headgear on the top. Man is wearing a kuan and a uh, handwoven bag. The of Arunachal Pradesh. Arunachal Pradesh is a land of diversity with over 26 tribes and 100 sub-tribes. People of this state love their traditional costumes and are proud to showcase them on each and every occasion that comes across. Though the tribes share common ethnic, but depending on the geographic region, their dressing style also changes. Let us look at one tribe from the state of Arunachal Pradesh, and that is Adi tribe. The Adi people are one of the most populous groups in the state of Arunachal Pradesh. <laughs> Coming to the costumes, there is extensive use of zigzag lines, stripes, and floral patterns. In fact, it is also interesting to know that most of these figures are not drawn without meaning. The straight line patterns seen on the traditional dress of the Adi tribe are symbolic meaning of the strict and disciplined lifestyle. The woman here is wearing a red around skirt, accessorized with a belt known as banyop. Beautiful spacious bags made of woven textiles are also common among Adis. Adi men is wearing hand-woven jackets known as Adi Galuk and also proudly carrying the traditional dagger or sword. Both men and women can be seen wearing a wearing a peko, which is a cloth draped across the upper body and pinned above the right shoulder. Pini is a hand woven, which is worn from waist to knee, and vankok, which is a traditional carby belt. It is used to tie the pini tight at the waist. And a distinct ornament that carby women wear around the neck is leg. Legs are made of coins and colorful beads. And the carby traditional dress for men consists of And that is also the Karbis are the tribal community of Assam's Karbi Anglong district. Community has specific attire. The man is wearing a traditional dress for Gamsa, which is wore from the waist down to the knee. The lady is seen wearing a dokna which is reverend clothes and the cloth runs from chest down to the ankles. Dokuna is accompanied by Jumra, which is a scarf used by the women. Aruna is another traditional item possessing great cultural significance. It is a traditional scarf and it is a sign of love and respect. So Boro people use it to welcome the guest as a gift. 
We have beautiful young lady and gentlemen wearing beautiful dresses of Assam. A man is wearing a dhoti, which is worn the lower half of the body, while gamusa is a white rectangular piece of cloth. The gamusa is used for various purposes, from wiping one's body to wearing it as a waistcoat. It can also be offered to someone as a mark of respect. The lady here is wearing a Mikela chador, which is the traditional dress. Apart from Dhoti and Mikela chador, there are other dresses of Assam. Let us, let us look at some of the tribes of Assam. These tribes are not all. There are many tribes which are unique and beautiful in each state of the Northeast. They are all equally rich in culture and traditions. These are just a few that you have seen today. The Northeast is one of the most diverse corners of India and its culture and history can be seen in the traditional dresses of the eight sister states. Each tribe, each state, and each of the traditional dresses give their place its high its stand-out beauty and charm. Though we belong to different tribes, cultures, and traditions, let us remember that we are all fearfully and wonderfully created by our Heavenly Father. And let us remember what the Bible says in Psalms 86, verse 9 and 10. All the nations you have made will come and worship before you, Lord. They will bring glory to your name, for you are great and do marvelous deeds. You alone are God. Thank you and praise the Lord.